Hi, this is Ryan with Safe Easy Tech, and today we're looking at YouTube safety features. So something to note before we get in too deep here is that it has to actually be enabled in every single browser. So uh, me, I use Google Chrome. That's actually the only browser that I use. Um, but a lot of you out there are probably using Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox, uh, maybe a combination of one, maybe all three, uh, maybe other browsers. So I do want to make sure that you understand that you will have to go through and do what we're about to do here on each browser individually. But basically how it works is like this. You open up your browser. Uh, once again, I'm using Google Chrome. And then you go to YouTube.com. And you can search for it. You can type it in directly, however you want to get there. And once you get to the site, you're going to scroll down to the very bottom. Um, some people may have to scroll down a little bit farther, depending on how much content you have on your home page. But you're going to see three or four sections on the bottom. you got language, country options. What we're looking for is safety. When you click on the safety option, like you can see here, there's an on and an off uh, option. We're going to click on the on one and then save. Now what this does is it turns on the safety options for this account. However, as long as I'm logged into this account, which a lot of people um, will have their accounts uh, saved so that they're logged in automatically when you load up your browser, Anybody can come in if it is logged in and they can go back and click on safety and then they can turn it right back off again. So if we're really wanting to make sure we're fully protected and our families are protected, what you want to do is click that on. And then if you'll see a lock safety mode on this browser button. Go ahead and click on that as well. That's going to have you log back into your account. The thing is great about this is that you have to actually know the password for your account. So now if someone was to come in, and this is actually going to be even if you sign out of your account. Um, for example, if I were to just sign completely out here. Even if somebody signs you out of your account and you come back to this, uh, it still is going to require a sign in. They're going to have to sign in specifically with your account. The other great thing about this is that it also enables it for a Google search as well. So if you're doing a search in Google for anything, it automatically turns on safe search here too. So it's going to filter out um, other Google sites like images searches, uh, new searches, um, along with YouTube as well. So do this on the browser that you're working in and then go through and do the same exact steps on every other browser that you use and you'll have uh, enabled all of the safe search settings that are available for YouTube through the actual program itself. So uh, do this and then you'll be set.